I'm Colleen Curran. We're at the new location for the Queen's Library Tea Room, and this is where Richmond eats. We are blessed to be right next to the Great Richmond Convention Center and we are excited to be a, a tourist destination here in Richmond and give people a piece of Richmond when they come and visit. This space is much bigger than our other location before we could only seat about 24. We usually do a flight of four different teas. The very first one is a sparkling white tea. Then we proceed to serve three different uh, hot teas. They're uh, Fornemann Mason teas every single time. That is the only thing we serve here at the Queen's Library Tea Room. Fornemann Mason is a brand of tea that has been appointed to the Buckingham Palace. So it is one of the very few brands of tea that is able to go within the palace and we rotate those teas. So every time somebody comes in, they will have a different experience and they will be able to taste a different range and a different spectrum of tea flavors. Right now we're closing out our fall menu, which had a turkey biscuit with pumpkin butter, and we've had the beautiful scones from Two and a Half Irishmen, and we're excited about our holiday menu, which will be featuring foods from around the world um, and celebrating different cultures during the holidays. This space will be able to seat about 40, and then we have two semi-private room options, one being more of an artsy urban flair, and then you have this beautiful brick room, which is gonna celebrate a lot of cultures here in Richmond. We get to meet people from all over, and they tell us all about the tea rooms around Virginia or different places, but I think what makes this spot special is people come here to celebrate. Richmond has really embraced this tea culture because people are looking for something different, and I definitely think that people do want some type of variety of of spaces where they can feel warm and welcome. The Queen's Library Tea Room is now open in Jackson Ward and booking for holiday teas. In other Richmond dining news, Daniel Harthausen of the wildly popular Young Mother Pop-Up announced he'll be opening a brick and mortar restaurant in Carytown next year. On Richmond.com, we've got a roundup of restaurants open for Thanksgiving if you don't feel like cooking. Juan More Taco is now open in the Fan on Robinson Street, and they're serving Latin American and Honduran dishes, such as quesadilla tacos and stuffed zucchini blossoms. Stanley's Hoagie Bar on Robinson, also in the Fan, is now open Open for sit down lunch and next week Richmond Times Dispatch dining critic Justin Lowe will have a review of Easy Burger and Scott's Edition. Find those stories and more dining news on Richmond.com.